Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we'll be discussing about castor grain reflector antennas. So what do you mean by castor grain reflector antennas? Well, let's find out. So castor grain reflector antennas has got the same principle as the parabolic reflector antenna. But the difference here is that this antenna has got two reflectors where one is a parabola and the other one is a hyperbola. So what is the principle behind this? Well, let's find out. So here, this has got a main reflector, which is actually a parabola. And then it has got a secondary reflector, which is a hyperbola. Okay, so what happens is that in the vertex point, or that is this point, what we do is we place a point source here. So here, a point source is placed here. So, when the radiation or the electromagnetic radio waves are produced and it falls on this particular hyperbola, it diverges and falls back onto this particular parabola. And once that happens, it emerges out as parallel electromagnetic radio waves and therefore it can be transmitted. So as simple as that guys. So here it has got a hyperbola and a parabola where the primary reflecting surface is a parabola whereas the secondary reflecting surface is a hyperbola. So when a particular point source produces electromagnetic radio waves it falls on this particular hyperbola and then it diverges that is it gets reflected here and it diverges and falls onto this particular primary parabola and when it falls here it then gets reflected and then it emerges out as parallel rays this is the basic principle behind Cassegrain reflector antennas. This is how it looks like. So I've written it down. It is a type of a reflector antenna. Here the main reflector is a parabola whereas the secondary reflector is a hyperbola. So here the rays that are coming from a particular point source will strike the secondary reflector and diverge to a primary reflector where it will emerge as parallel beams. So this scheme is basically used to construct optical telescopes. So now you guys might be wondering why can't we just use a simple parabolic dish antenna? Why do we need this? Well, let's see the advantages of using this kind of an antenna. So here are the advantages of using a particular Cassegrain reflector antenna. First is its ability to place the feed in a convenient position. That is, in the case of a parabolic dish reflector antenna, we had to place the feed in front of the antenna, which made it difficult. But here, the feed is placed in a convenient position. That is, it is placed in the vertex of the primary reflector. And hence, that is the major advantage, that is the ability to place the feed in a convenient position. Second one is the reduction of spillover and minor lobe radiation. Then it makes these systems more accessible for servicing and to make certain fine tuning or adjustments. And it is used in applications where pattern control is essential. So these are the major advantages of using a Cassegrain reflector antenna over a parabolic dish antenna. So this just sums up what you mean by a Cassegrain reflector antenna. I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what a Cassegrain reflector antenna is. And this does sums up module 4 of antenna and wave propagation. So in the next video, we'll be starting with module 5 of antenna and wave propagation. So stay tuned guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and peace out.